Okay, so I just got back from the grocery store. I got stuff over there. I got stuff right here. And just don't want to pay attention to the mess everywhere. Y'all, let me tell you about my experience. Well, it's pouring down rain. I'm soaking wet. I got Dax out, I got the umbrella out, and I run into the store. Then I didn't have enough room because I have to put the car seat in the buggy. So I'm sitting here with stuff everywhere. <laughs> Dax has got green beans at the end of his car seat. Oh, goodness. But anyways, it's been a day already. And then um, when, when I got done with that, I had to get another buggy just to put all my groceries in. <laughs> and then I uh, go take Dax in that buggy outside to the car and come running in and get the buggy with the groceries in it. Now I just got home finally and now I'm about to put all these away. So no, I'm not taking everything out and laying it on the table all nice and neat. I'm done y'all. I am ready to be done with this. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you what I got as I take everything out. So let's do it. We got a roll of hamburgers. We got some bananas. I got another one of the pork tenderloin and then i've been seeing these so i wanted to try these they're the buffalo style chicken wings they're already seasoned and they look good they're the country fresh brand at food line i don't know if you have a food line but that's where i got mine but they look banging so we're gonna have them one night i got a doritos los taco that's what it is at mcdonald's uh the dorito kind of the shells mcdonald's are you serious i didn't know mcdonald's sold tacos did you i meant taco bell lord have mercy it's been a day y'all they had these buy one get one free so i like these i think they're delicious and then i got these for chase for snacks and i got some more mac and cheese meat flavored pasta sauce for spaghetti got two of those i'm gonna take these over here because they're cans work smarter not harder Got sweet condensed milk, uh, diced potatoes, two of those, well, three of those because I had to get uh, for a roast. And then I got five of these. They were on sale for a dollar. Chase likes those. I'll go ahead and put these up. I got some corn, some cream mushroom. Maybe I need to stop the video right now because I just can't talk today, y'all. I ain't never in my life. Well, I don't think I've ever got cream of mushroom. I meant cream of chicken. Lord. And this is that gravy. I was right that I made the other day. McCormick Original Country Gravy. Oh man, it's so good. And I got my sausage and canned stuff that I put my eggs in for breakfast. I got two of them. Okay, all these are Josh's Red Bulls. These are his chips. I got these. We make bouillon noodles, so we just put these in there with some like bouillon cubes with water. I already had one of them too, but that's what I picked when I don't want to cook. And I got some noodles for spaghetti. Looks like I had them too. Lovely. And we get these tissues. So yummy. Got sub buns because I'm really making subs tonight, you guys. And then I get the old-fashioned marita bread. And I got my pie crust. It's the graham cracker. And some cream cheese. These are buy one, get one free. We got the barbecue kind and the cheddar cheese kind. Cherry pie filling for the pie. More potatoes. And Josh likes free fried beans. He's so picky, but he eats this. Have you ever? I don't eat this. <laughs> and I'm not that picky. But I got it for him. Hopefully he eats it. He eats it at the restaurant, so we better eat it here. I got the cracked black pepper turkey along with the extra thin provolone cheese. The shredded iceberg lettuce to go with the subs and I got banana peppers in the fridge and then I just got some regular chicken breast and then some bone in pork chops and I usually get the bone out pork chops but I wanted these this time the bone just gives flavor I think so yeah that's it guys oh and I got a case of water in the car but Josh can get that out later but this is the haul the total was $150. I'm going to finish putting it up. I guess I'll do that with y'all. X is still in the car seat sleeping, so I'll get him out when I'm done because he's going to be ready to eat. I want to get this put up first. Sounds like he's waking up already. I don't have no more room for cans.
Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Chelsea and I'm happy to have you here today. How are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing good. We're doing good over this way. Today is Thursday that I'm doing this voiceover. I will be seeing you guys, well y'all will be seeing me tomorrow on Friday. So happy Friday. I'm going to go run this outside real quick to the trash can. So in today's video, I will be cleaning Chase's bathroom and making dinner with you guys. I end up cooking those chicken wings that I got right here. And just look what I'm about to do. Make it make sense, y'all. I could have left this in the daggum pack. Yes, I could have left it in the pack, and I should have left it in the pack and just stuck it in the fridge. But no, I wasted a bag. Started putting them in there. I don't know. I was just in the groove because I got to package up the chicken and the hamburger meat. That was so dumb. So dumb. I like to take a Sharpie and write on mine what it is. I might have those tomorrow, so I'm going to leave those out. Uh, this can just stay in the same pack because they need to be cooked the same day. This can just stay in the same pack. These need to be divided. Them need to be divided. I usually don't write the dates on them because all this stuff will be cooked before it goes bad. So I just write what it is because sometimes when stuff is frozen, especially like different types of chicken and stuff, it's hard to tell what it is. So I just do this. I don't know. Do y'all do that? This was, should last us at least a week or two, maybe. I don't know. It just depends on how much I cook. We'll see. <laughs> but I've been on the roll cooking, and I'm trying to make a what's for dinner video, but I'm putting the dinners in the videos as I cook them, so I don't know if I'll be able to make one or not, but it may, like, bring in another audience okay, washing that my likes hands. just for what's for dinners. So I don't know. I might still post it. And plus, it'll be simple. Like, if I want to go back to something that I've cooked before, I can just go to my What's for Dinner video. It's easier to find than trying to figure out which one of my videos out of all 500 and some of them. You know what I'm saying? So far, I got like three dinners maybe. And I'm making one tonight, but I don't know if I'll record it or not. It's just that pork tenderloin. I don't know. I might do it. But I feel, I've done that with y'all before, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just put that in the what's for dinner instead of putting it in the next video. Now we're going to pause because we got to take Punkin to the doctor. Went to doctor and that baby is getting his two much shots today. My goodness. Him don't even know it. Mama is not ready. No. You want it? Then we're gonna see how much it weighs. You don't want it? Look at his little booties. <laughs> Let y'all know how it went. Moving on to Chase's bathroom, and it's not too bad, but the toilet is another story. So we're going to tackle this really quick. I finally got me a toilet brush cleaner in here. I have a toilet brush cleaner in my room, but I didn't have one for Chase's room because I got rid of that other one. So I needed to get another toilet brush one for in here. And y'all just don't mind this toilet. It's clean. I do need to get the Puma Stone and go around that circle, but don't judge. I know that's awful, but this is a boy's bathroom, and he just don't clean it about it like I do. So, it is what it is. <laughs> but we're going to get it clean, and no, I didn't do the Puma Stone today, so I need to do that. And I need to get in Chase's room. I need to go through his clothes, and I need to do all that stuff again, and just give it a good mama's touch. It's been a while since I've been in there, and I need to get that done. So, that will probably be next video. We will see how that goes. <laughs> Okay, so now we're back in Chase's bathroom and we're going to do his mirror. I had to pause because today is the day that Josh had to take Jordan to her follow-up appointment about an hour away. For the, whatever she's got going on, they better get some answers today because I'm about sick of not having answers so yeah now I'm just gonna take these Clorox wipes Pumpkin had his two shots today and then he had the one in his mouth where they uh, squirt stuff in his mouth 
and boy he turned bloodshot red stopped breathing a little bit screaming poor thing man i hate it but as soon as i picked him up he stopped crying and he's been sleeping for probably two two and a half hours maybe even longer than that and he seems good he woke up about 30 45 minutes ago and ate and then he was just kind of fussy and you could tell every time he moved his legs they were sore so i went ahead and gave him some tylenol and now he's back asleep again so we'll see but he weighs nine pounds 14 and a half ounces so the doctor is pleased with that and keeping him on the same formula and everything and it's doing good doing what it's supposed to do so that's great Okay, well, he was asleep, but he's not now, so I gotta go get him. So the floors will have to wait, if I even do them. I'm taking his trash out, and that's all she wrote for right now. And y'all didn't even see me cleaning that, because y'all are looking at the mirror. That's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. So, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the after because I didn't get the floors done. But I did end up getting his uh, rugs out right now to be washed. And I did take Chase's uh, rugs out of his bathroom. And we're going to wash those. And that's that. So today we're making the chicken wings that I bagged up and I'm going to bake some in the oven and I'm going to do some in the air fryer. I'm doing 425 on the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes because that's what I've seen online. So they're either going to come out good or they're going to come out not great. So we're just going to see. This is the first time I've ever made chicken wings. So we're going to see how it goes. I'm predicting that the air fryer will be the best, but I don't ever cook nothing in there right. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. First, I'm going to wipe it off. I already let it preheat. I don't even know if you got to let this time preheat, but I did. Because you can set the temperature on it, but as soon as you turn this on, it starts. So how do you preheat this time? I don't know if you have to, but I think it's just automatically that temperature. But it's already preheated. This said about 360 for 12 minutes on each side. And these chicken wings are already seasoned and all that. So I'm going to use this pan. I'm going to put some foil on it and spray it with my face here. Okay, I'm going to slide tin foil, but I don't want to clean it. Not pretty heated yet, but the air fryer is okay. So, going back to Josh's sister Jordan, her situation, we did get some kind of result, but I ain't never in my life heard a result like that. They said it was unspecified vomiting syndrome. Have y'all ever heard of that? They gave her some medicine that's gonna like help her with her appetite because she is uh tiny, but I think she's just tiny anyways. Her mom was oh, tiny, and layer, so it all cooks evenly. See. I'm going to put them in there for 12 minutes, and then after the 12 minutes, I'm going to flip them over and cook them for 12 more minutes. And they did do blood work, Josh said, so that's good. We should know if there's anything else wrong when the results come back. So I guess that's good, but at least it's like nothing major or whatever, so. Oh, no! I got that chicken wing sauce on my fall kitchen towel that is just for looks. It is never to be used. So having stains on it is unacceptable. <laughs> we'll do about 15 minutes on each side. All right. 
like this is what they're looking like. They're looking good. I just should have done all of them. So I was saying I should have done all the chicken wings in the air fryer, but I would have had to do like four rounds because you can't just shove all the chicken wings in the air fryer. I mean, they've got to be able to cook. But anyways, both that I baked and in the air fryer were banging. I think the ones in the oven were even Chase better. Chase requested these to go with it, so these will just get done when the chicken's done because these will be take about two, three minutes tops. So, yeah. Okay, well, I think it's safe to say that these are done, but I'm going to check them with the thermometer. And we still got eight minutes on these. And these had about, I want to say, like, maybe four minutes left. So, all in all, about 20 minutes. They're crispy. Probably could have took them out before then. I need a digital thermometer, a good digital thermometer, because I need to check my meats. And these just suck. They look good. I'm going to let them rest for just a minute while I try to clean this. So if you have a air fryer or a crock pot and you cook something in it, do you immediately wash it or do you let it soak or how do you do it? Because I was not about to leave this and let this stuff get dry and stuck on there. Absolutely not. I just wanted to go ahead and get this done really quick and keep going with my day. <laughs> I do have a liner for my crock pot, but I always forget to get it out and use it. Lord. I know I have other dishes, but I'm not letting that sit there and get messed up, so I wanted to go ahead and clean that. <laughs> yeah. Why? Is her car not sitting outside? Of the night? No. Can she? No. Why? Well, she don't want to, Chase. Well, they hot. They're delicious. I wish these wasn't as burnt. I wish I had a look, but they're going to be crispy and good. These are bomb. So, the Country Fresh brand. If y'all got them, you should get them. Y'all look so good. Oh, my goodness. Proud of myself. I like this chicken. I'm going to have to get it some more. I've tasted it, and man. And Chase wanted mashed potatoes and corn. So there it is. Now I'm ready to eat. So I'll, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> so I wanted to get on here real quick and do an outro. The baby's asleep and I'm just sitting here in peace until Chase gets home in about 30 minutes. I just wanted to let you know that Josh went out of his way to tell me how banging those chicken wings were. So if y'all have the Country Fresh brand, like where it's already seasoned and stuff. Or even if you don't have the Country Fresh brand. I'm sure your grocery store or Walmart somewhere near you has those that are already seasoned really good that are similar and they also have the, uh, the chicken thighs, chicken breast kind that season like that too. I just chose to do the chicken wings on this night. So anyways, they were so good and that corn and potatoes was a good choice to go with it. I wish I had some barbecue bread, but that was a lot. I didn't need to add bread to it. So <laughs> I want to thank you for being here, for watching today's video. I hope it gave you some motivation to get something you need to get done. And uh, subscribe if you want. I'd love to have you join our YouTube family. And uh, thank you guys for continuing to watch the ads that come on my video. That's how I get paid. And I really appreciate it. So if you're not watching the ads, I would love for you to watch the ads if you don't mind. Help a girl out. But anyways... I hope y'all have a good weekend, and I will see you in the next video. All right. Bye.